Iran's progress towards an ICBM. How close are they? Iran possesses the largest and most diversified ballistic missile arsenal in the Middle East. While this threshold certainly poses a significant threat to its neighbors, Iran's capability to produce an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, is not entirely on the imminent horizon. However, the tremendous improvements to Iran's weapons lethality and precision in the last decade should warn that the regime's ambitions are not limited. The current state of Iran's ICBM progress is better dissected in three parts the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corporation IRGC, space program, collaboration with North Korea, and proxy warfare in the region. Amidst the joint U.S.-Iran nuclear talks in Vienna this February Iran unveiled its Kabershikin missile. With a reported range of 1,450 kilometers, this weapon could reach both U.S. bases in the region and Israel. A month earlier, Iran tested an engine for a solid-fuel rocket needed to launch satellites. The pure solid-fuel rocket design typically corresponds to ballistic missile systems. While these developments have been showcased publicly, the extent of Iran's weapons programs is likely underground or hidden. The unveiling of the new Kaber Sheikhan missile fell close to the anniversary of Iran's National Space Technology Day, which commemorates the 2009 launch of its domestic grown liquid fuel SAFR rocket. Based on North Korea's Nodong liquid fuel rocket, the SAFR was ultimately intended to carry nuclear weapons. While technical issues and challenges with the SAFR have minimized its significance, Iran's space program has become more alarming in recent years. In April 2020, Iran launched its first successful military satellite, Nur-1, light, carried by its own Case 3 stage space launch vehicle, SLV. This launch marked a turning point in Iran's weapons development program for two reasons. First, Nur-1 was launched in coordination with the IRGC military space program. All space launches up this point had been carried out by the Iranian Space Agency, so the military's coordination with the launch indicates broader resources are being poured into the sector. Second, the launch displayed a solid fuel capability that could make Iran's ballistic missile designs more lethal and sophisticated in the future. Advancements in Iran's space program could correlate to its potential ICBM capabilities in the long run. The regime's long-range missile designs will use the technology developed in its solid-fuel space programs to build launch vehicles and the guidance system for targeting and navigation. While inserting a satellite into orbit suggests a decently sophisticated guidance system, the successful re-entry and warheads targeting is another matter. While Iran's exact progress in ICBM development cannot be characterized due to its lack of transparency, the state's extensive proxy activities showcase its reliance on missile and rocket technology. Iran serves as a prominent hub for weapons proliferation, supplying militias and proxy groups all over the region with a constant flow of missiles and rockets. While Yemen's Houthi rebels have been equipped with increasingly advanced ballistic and cruise missiles in recent years, Iraq's Shiite militias have received explosive Laden drones and rockets. Iran relies heavily on its missile and rocket development programs to maintain its position as the largest proliferator in the region. The regime's prioritization of its weapons arsenal, covert activities, and advancing space program indicate, while Iran's ICBM capabilities may not be an imminent threat, it is certainly the regime's ambition. Currently Iran doesn't possess any nuclear warheads, let alone those capable of use on an ICBM, but they are closing in on a viable warhead. If Iran takes a year after its nuclear breakout time to create a bomb, the regime would undoubtedly pour much of its resources into ICBM development to create a capable delivery system for their weapon. ICBMs normally are designed to deliver a nuclear payload. North Korea first detonated a nuclear weapon in 2006. It is widely assumed that it now has several dozen nuclear warheads. North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un has also hinted that he wishes to develop MIRVs, multiple, independently targetable re-entry vehicles. 
This would permit each ICBM to carry multiple warheads. So even if only one North Korean ICBM were to survive American missile defense, it could then still devastate multiple American cities. Much of this is already known. The North Koreans unilaterally halted testing in 2018 as a part of the negotiations between Kim and U.S. President Donald Trump. Those negotiations failed, and administration of U.S. President Joseph Biden is more hawkish than Trump on North Korea. Similarly, the incoming South Korean president is more hawkish than his predecessor. 